You know, it might actually help if I actually put on the items that I discovered during my adventure. So boots and the gold necklace. Yeah. Well, aren't I a handsome bastard? Cool. Okay. So, we were on our way to the Temple of the Nine to choose a god for Greaston. So let's quit farting around and actually look around and see what we can get into. So, I know almost nothing of solitude, so let's see if we can't find a big church-shaped building to wander into. Or maybe a guard can tell me. Hey! Hey. You need potions? Head over to Angeline's aromatics. The winking skeever's got warm beds and cold mead. You look like you could use both. Pardon me. Oh, oh no, small children. Run away. Let's see. Um This looks like a cathedral. Let's try this one. Howdy. Good evening. I'm Pantia Atia, the master vocalist. Pantia? Your name is Panties? That's funny. Okay, that's the Bard's College. Twenty minutes later. Here it is. Okay, so it's this building. Okay, um, it might be better if I went in the front door. So let's get down off this wall and get inside there. The guards are all looking around. Like, what is that Argonian doing running around on the battlements? <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, God, this is like a defensible position. Here we are. Okay. Here we go. Temple of the Divines. I called it the Temple of the Nine, but close enough. Whew. Once again, a blank loading screen. I don't know if my mods are erasing this from actually giving me advice or what, but... Okay. Oh, wow. They say the college has been snooping around Sarkal. Mages in the burial crypt. No good can come of that. Friar. The Emperor's cousin, Vittoria Vici, is getting married soon. The reception will be public. Anyone in solitude can attend. Oh, how nice. Let's see. What do the shrines do? One of the alcoves up front is empty, and what is the white gold concordant? Those who worship at the shrines will sometimes receive boons from the gods themselves. Oh. The nature of the favors varies per deity. Please, feel free to worship at any or all of the shrines. Sounds good. The strong and honorable always carry the blessing of the eight. Well, I don't know about strong, but I'm, I try to be honorable. So let's have a look here. Wow, now this is a church. Look at this. Oh, hi there. Being old's not so bad. Daughter keeps me fed, and my working days are done. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. Take my advice. Never gamble. Damn Ernskar has me in debt up to the eyes. Well, whose fault is that? Yours. You should speak to my daughter, Yvette. She's the brains of the family. You know, if you're retired, you really got no business walking around in armor. You really should uh, get like a. Too old to work. That don't make me too old to drink. Right. You really should get like a snazzy lord's outfit, like yours truly. Oh, this looks like it's it. Okay. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one of them is empty. I'm guessing that that's Talos because Talos is. Uh, illegal to worship right now, I think, in Skyrim. So, hello. Blessings to you. Blessings. The divines to are listening. They are. Okay, so what do we got here? We got Stendar, R.K. Uh, Zenithar, Talos would be there. The divines saved me from the streets. And they can save you from your trials as well. Well, give me a second. I'm trying to pick one. Dibella, Akatosh, Julianos, 
and Mara. Yep, Mara is one of the one of the gods. Now, I did some research behind the scenes to uh, find out which god was which and what they were the god of, and which would be would be appropriate for uh, Greeston here. So. So, uh, after much, much research and looking at the, at the dogmas of each god, I decided to uh, choose Zenithar for Greeston to follow because he wants to make his living as a jewel crafter and to make plenty of money, and Zenithar is the god of uh, honest hard work and uh, commerce, which makes him the god of people who who work for a living, who create things like blacksmiths, jewel crafters, fletchers, etc., etc. And he is this anvil one here. So we're gonna. Yes, thank you, Silana. I'm going to be a follower of Zenithar. What do you think? The divines are listening. Well, hopefully he'll listen to me. Shrine of Zenithar, activate. May you be saved by the divines, as I once was. Okay, blessing of Zenithar added, and all diseases cured. So let's have a look. Over here in magic, we can look at... Um, I think it's over in magic. Fortify barter. Resist disease. Rested. The Lord, the Lord, water breathing. Where are my active effects? Hmm. So what did... What did worshipping Zenithar actually do? Healing. Oh, here it is. God. I feel like a dunce. Fortify barter the blessing of Zenithar. So prices in the stores are 10% better for the next eight hours. Now that doesn't sound like much, but at the same time, Zenithar also cures all your diseases. So I don't know if that works for lycanthropy and, and vampires disease and things like that, but you can get like a whole range of different diseases that are no good for your character. And anytime you worship at a shrine, they will just automatically be cured. So let's journey out into solitude and take advantage of this uh, this boon we've got. Let's see. We need the one of the stores so we can get an amulet. Now, I figured if we're going to be worshipping a god and doing things for Zenithar, then we ought to get a Zenitharian amulet. Now, there are several places we can go for Zenithar amulets, one of which is the Radiant Raiment, which is somewhere around Solitude. <laughs> this might be it. Radiant Raiment, here we are. Okay, now supposedly this store sells uh, amulets of the nine divines. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. It is if not. Let me know. I might have it stored away. It is piss yellow in here, lady. Uh, anyway, this store sells amulets of the nine divines, which means they don't sell all of them at once. But there's a good chance she could have a Zenitharian amulet. Hi. Oh, what delight! Another charm. Have you got for sale? Breeches, gowns, clothes for any occasion, really. How about amulets? Let's see, amulet of Julianos, alien amulet of Kynareth. Uh, circlet of minor archery, minor magicka, minor restoration. Fancy clothes. Ring of Restoration, Ring of Minor Smithing. God, look at those prices. It's not like I could actually afford any of this stuff. Oh well. Well, why don't I sell you this gold necklace that you're going to buy from me for like a third of what it's worth? So, 43 gold for me. 
Cha-ching! And I don't need these foot wraps, so you can just have them. <laughs> okay. Finally. Not, you're not real friendly to your customers, are you? See if I come back here and shop. Okay, so it looks like we are SOL when it comes to just buying an amulet, so we're going to have to go get one, which means we're going to have to visit a different location that is far, far to the southeast of here uh, called uh, Jukar's Monument. Now, Jukar's Monument is, I think, a um, like a battlefield monument. A bunch of people died there, and... Um, they erected a monument to oh hell how do I there we go to kind of commemorate it so we need to go all the way down to right about here to uh, make use of this so I'm trying to figure out is it better to run or is it better to take a carriage to Falkreath here looks like it's better to run because this is the uh, the hill that's closest to where we're going, but we don't have any locations along this road, so we better start hoofing it. Run! And I know we are just kind of running from place to place, and that can make for kind of a boring let's play, but we don't have a horse, and I'm not going to be fast traveling everywhere because that just feels like I'm teleporting everywhere, and that's kind of cheating. Ah, uh, it's raining! There's the guy with the horse and buggy. Can you take me to Rorikstead? Hey. Ride? Yes. I can take you to any of the old capitals. Where do you want to go? Any of the capitals. So not Rorikstead. That's fine. Not Rorikstead. Not Rorikstead. Okay. We're hoofing it. We are hoofing it. Okay. Caitlas Farm. And you'll notice in Skyrim that the map is just kind of useless before you run around because you can't see any of the actual <laughs> landmarks. Where the hell am I going? The wrong way, that's where I'm going. Okay. <laughs> Hup. Phew. We're going to have to put some points into stamina. So we can run a little more. Citizen. Guard. I am not good at this, am I? Are your horses any cheaper than a thousand gold? You got business at the stables? Is this about the stables? Yes. Work hard for the future and leave the past be. Can I buy a horse? What are you offering? A thousand gold. Walking never hurt nobody. If you change your mind, I'll be here. Another thousand gold horse. I bet the better horses are even, even more expensive. Jeez. Okay, go up to the intersection. Turn left, because you're a directionally challenged idiot. Everybody's got their, uh, their failings in life. Mine is roads. Or, you know, which direction I'm going. Ah. <sighs> I'm so lost, and I don't care. La 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 la. At least we've got these lanterns to guide us. Hopefully, we won't run into any more giant corby sized spiders. Anyway, one of the next things we're going to do after we get an amulet of Zenithar is to go to that mine that we passed on the way here. Because there we can get ri we can get uh, raw metals and maybe some gemstones um, f by mining, and there'll probably be a few enemies in there, so we'll be able to maybe level up and put some points into smithing itself. So if we're gonna be a jewel crafter, uh, we need to be able to make the most of our ore. Uh oh. Hey. Brother, I think she's telling the truth. I'm not going anywhere. Now back off before I do something drastic. Is there a problem here? Who are you looking for? I'm looking for information about a woman. A foreigner in these lands. She's a red guard like us. We believe she may be hiding in Whiterun. But we're checking everywhere to be sure. You're pretty damn far from Whiterun. Farewell. 
What? Oh, you're right. We've made a mistake. Now move along before that mouth of yours gets you into trouble. Oh, good lord. If you're looking to pester someone, make sure it's the right person. Jesus. Uh, are you okay? <laughs> Foreigners. What a nuisance. What was that all about? They thought I was some other Red Guard woman. They just wouldn't leave me alone. I hope they get lost in the wilderness. Yeah. They probably will. I know I do. Well, run back to solitude before you get run over by a horse or robbed by highwaymen. There's no place for a woman to be out here alone. Okay. Fork in the road. Leave it. Oh, we need to put it put down a new marker anyway. It's, I have a paper map of Skyrim next to me, so I think it's like roundabouts here is what I'm looking for. So you never know what adventures you're gonna have when you're just running around, so Run, 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 run. Anyway, like I was saying, we're gonna try and get some gems so we can make some rings because gemstones and precious metals are highly enchantable in Skyrim and the more precious they are the higher the uh, enchantment grade can be for the item to hold so I tell you I got a good story as far as finding gems for you uh, my aunt and her then husband um, bought a farm out in the middle of nowhere in Kentucky and in the barn, while they were looking through stuff in the loft, she found this giant fucking, like, several carat uh, gold diamond ring. It was amazing. And it had apparently been there for decades and decades, so, you know, the people that owned it were long gone, and um, she, you know, one, one more piece of jewelry for her, it was like the talk of the family for a long time that she just found this massive diamond ring and uh, basically got to keep it. I th I'm 90% sure that, yeah, yeah, I remember now. She she took it to the cops and asked them about it. It's like, this is a giant diamond ring. Is it okay if I keep this? And they go, yeah, I mean, you own the property and everything on it, so if somebody doesn't didn't come looking for it and it's been decades, then you basically get to keep it. I guess this isn't like a landmark for me to discover. Adventurer's Journal. Uh-oh. There's a red dot. It means there's something bad nearby. Oh, it's probably that mud crab. Okay. Sorry. Don't get distracted. Keep going. And yeah, it's not a good idea to go swimming in Skyrim, but whatever. Huh. What are you guys doing? Hey, friend. Hi. Good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. <laughs> You're kidding. Ah, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. Hunting brew mead? I would love to share a drink with you. Ah, nothing like buying spirits to help raise your... Well, your spirits. Yeah. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. Yeah. All right, free ale for us. Restore 15 stamina. Thank you. See, there's nice people out here too. Doop doop doo. -doo. Uh, yeah, we just gotta keep going down this road. Do 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 do. I really wish I had a horse, but again, a thousand gold, so we're not really not really gonna see that anytime soon. Heck, we don't even have armor yet, so Robber's Gorge. Uh oh. Oh, that's no good. Oh, there are robbers in Robber's Gorge. Ooh, okay, okay. You want to exchange fire? We can do that. I've got a longbow and some arrows. Oh, yeah. Come on. I, 
can juke out of your arrows. Come on. No, no, can't hit me. Ah, there's one. Ooh. Oh, there's three of them. Okay. Stop moving. Yeah. Who would have thought that there were robbers in Robbers Gorge? But then again, who would have thought they would have set up all this fort without any of the local guards from Solitude noticing? Yeah, take that. All right. Now, how do I get up there to loot their bodies? Oh. Uh-oh. You want to do this? I just killed three of your friends. Yeah, stay right there. Stay right there, lady. Good. Good, you're the smart one. Your friends tried to jump me. What was that? Oh shit. Oh, ow. Okay, okay, a bow and arrow is not a good job right now. Ugh. Uh, steel dagger, yeah. Okay, oh god. Oh, okay, magic user. Jesus. Ah, oh, god, he burned the fuck out of me. Hope he's got a potion on him. Human flesh. Really? Ugh. Oh, nasty. He's got fur armor. I'm taking your armor. Ugh. Oh, seven gold. An iron greatsword. A lockpick. I'm closing this because I don't trust you not to follow me. Ah. Oh, God, I gotta rest for a minute.